Hey guys, welcome to my video. Today I'm going to show you how to reset or remove a restriction passcode. Okay? Please stay with me after the intro. Alright, as I'm showing you over here, I don't really know my, my restriction passcode and I have no choice but to reset it or remove it completely okay now in order to do that we need to connect the iPhone to iTunes and I'm gonna film the computer and the iPhone simultaneously so you see exactly what's going on on both devices and first thing uh, that we need to do is to perform a backup now here on the left side we're gonna back it up uh, to the computer so we're gonna click backup now it shown you the progress over here and when it's done we will fin we will be finished with the first step now what we need to do we need to launch our browser and go to i copy bot dot com we're gonna go to download and here we're gonna go to I backup bot for Windows. Okay, if you have Windows, download the Windows version. If you have Mac, download the Mac version. All right. So after we download and install uh, I backup bot, uh, the free trial, we we can uh, launch it and start the program. And we will see this message appear in front of us. We're gonna click OK, and here we're gonna click OK as well. Now I want to let you know guys that it's all legit, it's all good, don't worry about it. If you follow step by step after uh, uh, my tutorial, you will be set to go in less than 5 minutes. Okay? Okay, over here we're going to go to System Files, Home Domain, Library, and here we're going to look for Preferences, which is over here. Alright. So after we click on preferences, we have a, a, a list that open up for us over here on the right side. And now we, what we're looking for is com.apple.springboard.plist. All right. Now it's if you can't find it, just click here on the search bar, Springboard. And click enter. As it's showing you over here, it's found one folder and one file. We're going to click on the file. Now it's asking you to register the software, but don't worry about it. Click cancel. Alright, and this file open up for us. Now here we need to make some uh, changes. So over here we're going to look for SB parental control is enabled. Okay, you see this line over here. And under it, it's saying true. So. We're gonna delete the true and we're gonna write false. Alright. Over here under SB parental control fail attempts, it's, it's showing five. We're going to delete this five and we're gonna write zero. Okay? Now, the most important thing over here you see DICT, country code, US, and another dict again. We're gonna click on this one, we're gonna press enter. And we're going to write those two lines. All right. So those two lines, that's the, the one we added. We're going to go to the, to the start of this line and we're going to press tab just to make it straight. Click save on this uh, disk over here. And you can exit this one. All right. Okay, after we saved it, we're going back over here to our first backup we made and over here we're gonna uh, click control T alright we're gonna press OK to perform a, a backup restore and it's restoring uh, the device now it's, if it's giving you error uh, 37 we need to turn off find my iPhone okay and we're gonna do that by unlocking the phone going to settings iCloud and we're gonna turn off 
find my iPhone. After we turn off find my iPhone, we're going to click OK. And we're going to click Control T again. And we're going to perform Backup Restore. Restore completed. That's it. It was really quick. All right, we can close the software and go to the phone. All right, after we're done with the uh, with the backup restore, we can go to settings. We can actually disconnect the iPhone from the computer. Gen general restriction, and here we're gonna type one, two, three, four, and it's done. All right, guys. Thank you very much for watching my video. Please comment, like, and subscribe. I will see you all in my next video. Bye.